Our next exciting little project is our pop-up boot card. Um, this is really um, quite nice and we've gone with a school theme on this. We said good luck at school because I think it's it was kind of um, because there were dragons on the USB and I loved the colours. I thought, can we make it kind of um, uniform-like? Um, so I've gone with the red, the yellow and the blue, thinking of my old school tie. Um, and that's why I came up with this little um, idea. And then what we've done here, we've added an extra little touch um, just by colouring in some cocktail sticks to make them look like pencils. So that's another little trick um, that you could do if you wanted to make some teeny, teeny cute pencils. But as you can see, it just just folds down nicely it's a really sweet little card um, so let's show you how to put this together so we've taken our card blank which again we've cut on the machine it's just a small card and it's got a little um, score line down the middle so let's score that in half um, and then there we've got our little card now our inside section and this is the mechanism um, so we've got to do some again some folding um, like we did in the first um, card that I showed you which had the the explosion card with the pop-up mechanism so what we want to do if you imagine that this front section here is going to be like the front of a little uh, novel almost so what we need to do our first fold here needs to be a valley fold now some people are probably thinking what, what is a valley fold what's a mountain fold if you imagine um, you've got a mountain and then it goes up and then it goes down into the valley it goes back up into the mountain and back down to the valley so it's kind of like concertina folds um, so what we're going to do first of all we're going to fold this middle section here and this is going to be a valley fold this is what's going to go into the um, fold of the card so if we press that like that so if i bring in the original and show you that makes it a little bit more simple to look at so we've got that panel there and then this panel here is going to go in like that so straight away as soon as we do those opposing folds it starts to kind of take shape on its own okay so then we've got a perforated line here so we're going to push that that way and the same with that one. So we're going to mirror it. Um, it's a little bit difficult for you to see here on the camera, but you can actually um, see it when you've cut it yourself. You'll be able to see those perforations. So now we can squeeze that. And as you start to do more of the folds, it starts to come together better. And you can then be more confident at um, giving nice creases. Right, so what we need to do now, we need to do a mountain fold here. So remember the mountain fold is going up. So we've got like the peak of the mountain and then we've got the valley fold here. And again, it's all about doing it nice and slowly so you don't get any folds anywhere other than along these score lines. So there we go, like that. And then our last one here is going to just go that way. And sometimes it is easier to turn the card over to make sure it sits right. Okay, so we've got our little folded section there. Okay, so now you can see we've replicated what we've got here. So now we have to attach it. Um, so what we need to do is bring in our card blank and it's going to sit on here like this. Okay, so the important thing is, is here, because we folded it, this now brings it in a little bit. So we need to make sure that the ends are attached here and here. That's the really important thing. So remember, don't, don't put glue on anything other than the sections here and here. Um, so if I put my glue onto this area, you don't want to get it on any other area than these panels. So we've got that one there. So let's pop that one into the card, first of all. So we get it right up to the edge, like that. Now with my original card, I just did it in um, white. So I did my card front in white, my card base, and I actually did the mechanism in white as well. Um, and then just added my um, mats on top using different colours. So we do the same here, so we're going to glue this section 
and then we will put this into the card too. We'll just do a bit more glue on there. And then again, line it up with the edge like that. Okay, press that down like that. And then a good thing to do is to just let it sit like that. So it bonds here and it bonds at this side as well. Now what we've done, we've got mats here as well. Looking on my original one here, you'll see we've got lots and lots of um, different sized mats and they get smaller and they get thinner. So we've got mats here for the actual inside section. So what will become the little like storybook if you like. Now we've got black one, which we're gonna put on here. So if I show you this, and then it kind of gives you an idea as to where you can put your mats. You might not want to use them all, but with this one, you're going to get that lovely um, white edge still showing. Then we're going to put the white one on top of that. And then we've got a black one to go on top of that. Okay, let's just grab my pocket tool and just knock that round. I don't want to be um, squashing my mechanism here. So with hindsight, you could probably pop these together before you put them on. But I wanted to do it individually so that you could just see how it um, fitted together. There we go. Let's just slide that up there. There we go. And then this one will fit on here as well. And then we go on to the, um, the side edges, which are really, really tiny. Okay, so they are very thin and there are just two of those. Now, if you don't want to put them on the side, you don't need to. But I'm just going to show you with one half here how this will work. So this one will go here and it's like the, where the pages of the storybook would be. So we just pop that one onto there. And then we've got this really, really thin one here. So if you like detail, then this is a perfect one for you because you've got this tiny, tiny little mats as well. Now I'm going to spread that glue along there with the uh, back of my finger just so that it doesn't spread out everywhere. And then we can pop that in place like that. That's a really tiny, thin mat. Um, okay, so we've got that on there as well. Then we have some inside mats as well. So if I just show you how these work. Now these are all cut in black because I didn't want to do lots and lay lots of layers. With it being black and white, I didn't want it to be too harsh, but I want to show you where these mats will go. So you'll be able to compare it to the original card I made up above here. So we have panels that sit there like that. And then we have a panel for each of these little areas here. Um, and they can just sit on there. So you would decorate both sides exactly the same. So you can see how that would work. And then you replicate that on this side. I have done it with, I've got some white ones as well because I wanted to show you exactly how much smaller you can actually go if you put every single mat on here. Right, so we're getting smaller and smaller. Um, and I quite liked all the detail. It really reminded me of my um, old school tie, uh, which is why I kept adding colors. But you can see how small they get. And this is just your choice then as to how you um, put them on, where you put them and how many you put on. But if you imagine, we've got all those on there like that. And then we've actually got even smaller ones. So these are the tiniest ones, but just check these. Um, if you love detail, which I love, I, I'm a big fan of making miniature things, miniature houses, miniature frames, uh, miniature like kind of little um, ornaments and things for going in dolls houses. So this one is, again, it's another one that's right up my street. I just love tiny, tiny details like this. But if you imagine how small you can get with those, it can become really intricate and really quite um, nice. Let's just pop that a little bit further down. Whoops, that one's fallen off. 
but I've not glued them on so that's why but you get the idea as to how small they will be when you put them on so it's entirely up to you whether you go all the way with all the mats and add the black and the white again we've got white that will go on top of there and then we've got another black one that will go on top of there so you can see there's been no kind of expense spared here the the design team have thought of everything and, and we've got loads and loads of mats and again you can make it really really quite personal by adding as many or as few as you like if i bring in the original one you will see um i actually just added those little pencils i've used the dragons from the usb and we've just got that lovely dragon's head on the front there and i thought we have to put good look at school on here um just to make because it, it looks quite schooly um but that's how you do it really simple card to do um, have a go at doing that one. I'm sure you'll enjoy it as much as I did.